Protecting our environment is a top priority for us here at WUSA 9, and the same goes for the leaders at the World Climate Summit in Dubai. Meteorologist Caitlin McGrath is here now to explain what's being done to avoid what they're calling a climate catastrophe. Caitlin. Well, guys, delegates at the World Climate Summit have agreed on a long term goal to give up fossil fuels that are leading to climate change. It's the first time a mention of fossil fuels has appeared in an international climate agreement. It is so decided. Nearly 200 nations have approved a first ever call for the world to transition away from plant warming fossil fuels. This is the fastest, simplest, easiest, quickest, cheapest way to be able to make the gains we need to make to reduce the threat to the planet. Climate negotiators struck the deal in Dubai after 13 days of hard fought talks in a country built on oil wealth. Emissions from oil, gas and coal are the main drivers of climate change. The U.S. is the second largest emitter after China. This has the potential to be the beginning of a new era, the post fossil era. The agreement aims to triple the amount of renewable energy sources by 2030 while relying less on fossil fuels, substantially reduce methane emissions, another potent greenhouse gas this decade, and achieve net zero carbon emissions globally by mid-century. This text is not enough. Climate activists, along with many countries, including the U.S., argued for tougher language to completely phase out fossil fuels. But we know this was a compromise between many parties. Scientists say breaking away from fossil fuels is the last best hope to stave off a climate catastrophe.